and luggage are packed away. Refugees make way for the normal church services on Sundays and special days. The usual congregation of the Central Methodist Church attended the Christmas Day sermon. Reverend Allen's story says the refugees staying at the church is a constant reminder of what it must feel like to be unwanted and unwelcome. Christmas is a message about Jesus being a refugee and if it was up to home affairs he would have got very poor treatment. So the people here and refugees everywhere need to be treated as if they were the divine, as if they were Jesus. And if we can do that, then people are treated dig with dignity and respect. The church has asked the refugees to vacate the building due to health and fire risks, but it says it doesn't believe in evicting people. Reverend Story has called on the government and the UN High Commission for Refugees to resolve the crisis. The refugees, too, are dismayed at their living conditions. Their leader, J.P. Balus, says it's not ideal and the group feels unsafe in South Africa. They want to leave but don't want to return to their countries of origin. Balus says it's the UN body's responsibility to move them to another country. They have to do their duty and take refugees to the third country because it's a must that they have to do that. It's not, it's not a favor. It's a must because that is their duty, that is their task, that is their mandate to protect refugees uh, who are in danger. And that what we are, we are we're still saying that no matter how long it's going to take. Meanwhile, the city of Cape Town is waiting on the outcome of an urgent court application they filed to uphold, among others, bylaws that prohibit people from bathing and cooking on the street. The refugees have also been accused of intimidation and threatening behaviour and it's allegedly affecting street vendors at the popular Green Market Square, a tourist hotspot. As 2019 winds down, the refugees hope the new year will bring the help they need. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Cape Town.